So before we get into this podcast, I just wanted to record a new little intro because what's what, what happened is the podcast that is about to come up is it, I recorded it on on Sunday, which was less than twenty four hours after my psychedelic experience. And the thing is, it's now four days later, <laughs> and well, so much has changed. So what what I put? I've got loads of stuff to say, and this is a thing. This is why I had to come in here because what happened was. When I recorded the podcast, I recorded the first part, which was part two, which was this one. <laughs> and then what happened was I just kept recording and kept talking about everything. And it actually lasted for about seven hours. So the thing is, I can't put seven hours up on my podcast feed because it actually costs money to host it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to release this podcast and then I'm going to release all the other parts onto the YouTube at youtube.com slash Sophie Lawson and what they what they will be is very raw of me just talking, reading what I've been writing. And the thing is, since I actually wrote since I did those podcasts, which were seven hours, I've wrote even more and more. And not just more, but just more and more. There's just writing everywhere. All I have done for the last four days is listen and write. And what happens is, as I'm writing it, it's making sense le- later on. So what happens is, in the, in this podcast, there might be a lot of things I say, which sounds like gibberish, but it's like you need the bits later on, which is why I want to release the whole lot. But So what I'm going to do is, each. I think what I'm going to do is, for the next weeks or months, every podcast I'm going to try to sort of condense all of the writings, which will be on the videos... I'm going to try and condense them into a, an hour where that makes sense. So some of them will be talking about stuff like parallel timelines. Some of them will be talking about stuff like DNA, how the DNA is is time. Some of them will be talking about the pyramids. So what I'll do is, as I on the videos, I will just go through everything I've been writing, which is explaining everything. And it is all to do with numbers and shapes and... Well, what it boils down to is we are inside the process of two entangled souls finding balance. Now, what has happened is during the experience, this the grid, a grid pops into my vision and this grid was given to me via a lucid dream. Now, what's strange is in this, in this during the psychedelic experience, I worked out that this grid was given to me by myself in the future via a, an out-of-body experience in a lucid dream. At the time when I got this grid, and I actually put it onto the podcast, it was a podcast around about June 2019. And it was actually the 6th of June, which is one of the numbers. So this is a thing. It, this whole thing is to do with numbers. Because, because what we're inside of is a paradox. The minute you try to speak it in words... You actually create a paradox. So it has to be spoken in numbers. And the reason it has to be spoken in numbers is because numbers, they they can exist inside of the illusion without actually... They can stay truth, basically. The numbers can remain truthful within the illusion. So you have to speak in numbers, which is a bit weird. But basically it's free which is process, which is the entire process of the two entangled souls, which are a point particle finding balance. You've got six, which is is unresolved. So that's like, it's unresolved. It's not in balance, which keeps the time loop going. And then you've got nine, which is where it's in balance. So three is the process, and six and nine are the two possible outcomes of every single point particle, these two entangled souls, everything is entangled on itself. So this 369 is actually inside of the grid as well. So I'm going to be talking about all this in f- in the future videos, but this gets so deep, it's amazing. But this thing with this grid, it was given to me, now this is what's weird. In the psychedelic experience, it actually said it was me that gave it to myself. Now the, f- the thing is, when I've got... I act, I went through all my dream diaries to try and find it because I remembered writing this grid down. So I went and found it and what it actually said was 
the the person who gave it to me in the in the outer body i wrote in my dream diary he had my dream diary <laughs> so i even if looking at it now it's obvious i didn't make that connection at the time he had my dream diary because it is me he was giving the information to himself across time because it, it's like a time loop thing so this thing is it gets so complicated but it's so simple but it takes time to understand it all and the thing is you've got all this information you read you try to get it out and that's the thing that's why at the moment i'm not i haven't consumed nothing since the experience all i've done is meditate and write and sleep and write and it, all the information is coming out so, so what it says here is what's it say so much to say yes uh-huh. so one of the things is boing look at that there so if you watch on youtube what you got to do is you got to you got to take action. <laughs> so one of the things I wanted out of this psychedelic experience was to let go and fully accept myself. If you fully accept yourself and let go, you become in balance, which is what the whole process process is about. <laughs> so what I did was I just took my wig off because basically what this is what's so amazing about this thing. I talk about this in the podcast. I think I just started wearing wigs on the on the podcast video. It's all, what's happening is things in the future are creating the past. They're linked. It's all entangled. And what's happened is you you can't speak. You can't speak the truth via words. You it, it, you have to speak in, in action, but it's action and not non-action. <laughs> you start talking in riddles and paradoxes. It's very... It's amazing, though. So what's happened is, since this psychedelic experience, I've gone to work without wearing anything on my head because I've always been ashamed of my bald patches and and stuff like that. But the thing is, when you realise what's going on here, you're free from the illusion. So if you're free from the illusion, there's nothing to fear. So you can do anything, but you have to, the way you prove that you that you know is by action. It's the action and non-action. Because the action I used to have was wearing something on my head. Which was the action which was keeping me in a six. Which was an unresolved... Because I, I would have died with an unresolved issue of my hair. By taking the non-action of not wearing anything. I've now transcended that into a nine. So it's resolved. So when I die, I've got no entanglement with my hair. Because what it is, is these two entangled souls... It, it relates to everything. So it goes right down to the smallest possible thing, to the biggest thing. It's all doing the same thing, which is in the grid as well. But that grid, this grid, is basically the map to the way home. <laughs> How amazing is that? So what it says here, what have I put here? I says, yeah, I will release the next podcast, but I'll put all the writings into the videos. So what I'm saying is, this whole thing here, what I got, what I got given via this psychedelic experience, and the thing is, it's continued for the last four days. I've been going to sleep, waking up in the middle of the night, and just getting more and more information. It's amazing, but it includes dreams, virtual realities, fractals. It explains how all is process. It's all about balance. You got paradox. You got shapes. Numbers, time travel, pyramids, DNA, entanglement, past and future, opposites, the God and the devil, heaven and hell, physical and spiritual, spinning, 369. <laughs> but basically, this thing is everything. It's, it's quite amazing. And the thing is, you, you, you know it all. You want to get the words out. You start writing. The minute you start writing, it's it doesn't make sense. But it will make sense later on. It's quite weird. What's this? It say? I've put something here. It says, "Was was about to follow is ah uh, what's about to follow is already out of date." Yeah. So the podcast that is about to follow is already out of date, but it's not really. <laughs> this is like yeah. I've put this is like the support beams in a house. So what comes up in the next podcast? It's not the house because at the time as I'm wait as I'm speaking and waiting. It feels like that's the final house, but it's not. It's the it's like the support beams of the house. Because what happens is it it tells you stuff, and then as you get more information, it's like you're putting the house together. But you need to you need the support beams 
to understand how the house is made sort of thing it's like that so for i would say for at least the next 20 hours of these videos and podcasts and stuff it's just a framework for what is to follow so what we'll put here oh yeah this is cool as well this whole thing it explains everything it explains transgender it explains art it's amazing the the thing that's amazing is <laughs> it's right in front of our face it's like staring us right in front of the face which is and, and art is the perfect example of it because art is all about the balance of, of par- paradoxes basically so i've put here it's like a piece of art yeah the first because if you're doing a painting the first phase of a painting it looks if if somebody didn't know how paintings work and they walk past the first phase of a painting when you're like blocking in the, the shapes and stuff people think you, you don't know what you're doing <laughs> it's only at the end when you look at the finished painting that it, it makes sense but the thing is that finished painting has got all of those blocks in it so it's kind of like that so this is why i need to and this is why i need to say everything in order even though i know that as i'm releasing the video there's more to come later on there's a few things i wanted to add in this little bit so what i put here is well one person is a piece of dna of the timeline so you need you need all dna to change the timeline permanently so this is what is going on right now on this earth what's going on right now is basically they're trying to change the timeline that what they're doing is they're trying to turn the illusion which is what we're inside of because we are currently in we haven't found balance at the minute we are inside well we have but we haven't but we are inside of the of the process of finding balance which is the illusion so they're trying to turn the illusion into the reality they're basically trying to change the timelines via the dna so that that's why that's why they want the dna with all this virus thing they're basically trying to change the timelines it's amazing but so what you've got is you've got a vr within a dream and this is how the physical and the spiritual link the process of spiritual finding itself is dream so that's that's the dream realm so that's why it's all illusionary but the spirit realm actually has a sort of a physical or it has a point where it's in balance then you've got the physical the 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 process of the physical finding balance is the virtual reality so so what you've got is you've got these two and it, this is in the grid as well you've got physical and you've got spiritual the middle point is balance the middle point is the balance where all possibilities within all possibilities have unentangled themselves because they're not entangled to anything anymore they're in balance it's 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 amazing this is so i really hope stay you stay around with it right to the end the thing is i will talk about things which are also a little bit weird as well like at one point i talk i start talking about reptilians <laughs> it's quite funny because i said what happened was i say about how everyone is a reptilian so at, the, at first when you hear that you think what because even as i was saying stuff i didn't know what i was saying and it's like i even I was thinking, what the? But later on, when you get more information, you realise what it's actually saying is reptilians are an illusion. So it's saying everyone is an illusion. Everyone is an illusion because it's it's we're inside of the process. So it was it was just a way of it's, it, this is what I'm saying. This that's an example of how it all builds on top of each other. But this gets really amazing, really amazing, and well. So this is it, basically. In in the next in the podcast that's about to follow, I also talk about a little piece of wood because before the psychedelic experience, we did the little ritual thing, which put like a bubble of protection around around me, and it uses a little piece of wood. This piece of wood smells beautiful. It's a piece of wood from the I think it's from the American the African rainforest or something, somewhere like Peru or something where they do their where they do all their psychedelic rituals and stuff so i just wanted to sh- i wanted to show that if you're watching on the video but this thing smells beautiful especially when you're if burning when it's burning is it's amazing so let's get into this one and 
And like I said, this is going to run and run for a few, for quite a while now, I think. And where I'm at at the moment, four days after, I am I am in a place where I'm feeling incredibly sad, incredibly happy. <laughs> like one minute you're crying pure tears of joy, and then you're crying tears of sadness because you you see what's going on, and then one minute you're you're filled with fear because you know what is about to happen. Yeah, because, well, basically what's happening is, basically what's happening is we are in hell, but we've got to, we've got to find balance within hell to transcend it, basically. So basically it's going to get a lot worse over the next few periods, periods of time. But so you get scared at that, but then you start laughing because you realise this is all an illusion. (laughs) So you're, what's happening at the moment is I'm, and also I am exhausted, but incredibly energized and refreshed and and i know none of this sort of makes sense but that's what it is at the moment i am can i am i'm sort of containing both opposites at the same time it's very weird but i think we should get into this podcast now and then so so next week's podcast what i'll try to do is next week's podcast i will try to put the next six hours of of recordings that i put out on the youtube I'll try to sort of squish that into an hour-long podcast. And that's what I do. So I hope you enjoy this. Let's get into it. Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is episode 146 of the Sophie Art Podcast, which is a little podcast that I do about the art and things. (laughs) And this is most certainly about the things. And in a funny, strange way, it's also about the art, which I think is beautiful. So this is a podcast. Well, little Dennis is going to get us straight into this, I think. Boing! <laughs> Look, little, little Dennis. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can watch this video at you, on YouTube at youtube.com slash Sophie Lawson. This is going to be a really big one, I think. I'm either going to split it up into sections, or it's just going to be a massive who knows how long because i've got so much to talk about i've I've wrote so much so this is the after for my psychedelic experience which was actually all about the, the psychedelic was dmt which is considered the spirit molecule <laughs> now what's really weird is i'll start out very briefly talking about just before the experience the lead up to it and then I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through the experience and talk, but most of this podcast is going to be me reciting what I've wrote. And it's amazing how everything has come together in such a beautiful way. Something I kept repeating was genius, genius. <laughs> and if you're also, if you're watching on the podcast, I've dropped the wigs and everything for the minute because it said it didn't matter, which is amazing what's amazing is how everything makes sense now like a triangle (laughs) so what happened yesterday was somebody came round and helped me with this dmt and well it's so funny what happened well in the the morning uh, what happened was i finished work and i went down to saltram which is the local woods now my my spirit animal is the little robin i love the robin I've got this connection with it. Now, I went down to Saltram to empty my mind in preparation for the psychedelic experience, and I saw so many robins, and I saw them in places you wouldn't see robins. It was amazing. There, there must there were so many robins. It was it was it got to the point where it was there were so many robins. It was comical, and I just I come around the corner. I'd be like, "There's going to be a robin there," and there was a robin, and it and that to me said that. This is going to be the most important thing you've ever done, which is what I thought it was going to be. So what happened was, later on in the day, we, he comes around and we're, we're all ready to go. And the strange thing is, I wasn't nervous at all. He he said he did this thing with me, which they do in Peru with ayahuasca, which is like some sort of getting the putting a bubble around yourself, or like an energy bubble thing. He did that with this like fire thing. He's actually given me the little piece of wood. And then he said, you've got to put your intention. So my little singing bowl, 
which is the thing that little Dennis he does on the podcast I actually played the singing bowl and I recited my intention my intention was I want I want to learn to let go and I said what I said was and I said this when I was at Saltram I said give me whatever I need to let go so then we get into the meditation we start we start it I do it as I was supposed to but I didn't do it right I don't think and then what happened was nothing happened and I thought I, I was sitting there thinking ah oh, this is funny it, it's giving me exactly what I needed which was nothing so that's the first thing but there's also this little thing of like oh that's a relief <laughs> I don't have to face it because the thing is before I looked into this I didn't really look into it too much because I, did, I didn't want to see anything that would sort of cloud my sort of what do you call it perceptions or something or I didn't want to see I didn't want to hear something which would then make me see something I wanted to actually be so sort of not knowing what's going to happen that what happened would be what was the truth I suppose so so what happened then was I was also thinking ah oh, at least I don't have to see anything but then what happened was yeah there's multiple ways you can take this DMT so we tried this other way and I'm, I'm sitting there I'm, I'm doing this other way Again, there's nothing there. And it must have been about, well, it felt like about two minutes. There was nothing. So what I was going to say was, before I looked into this, the only thing I knew was, apparently you take DMT, like a space rocket, you're blasted straight there. You experience about three, five minutes or something, like these really intense visuals, and then bang, you're back. And it's so sort of extreme that you can't really even, you can't even recite anything. You, You sort of come back, and you can't you can't say what you've seen. It's sort of like a struggle. So what happened was, this it's been the exact complete opposite for me. It's been this slow pro. What time is it now? Well, it's nearly twenty four hours after I I did it, and only about an hour ago did it actually stop. <laughs> so it's been this. And I actually went to sleep. I woke up and it was still going. It's just been intense, intense but soft, and that's what I needed. I think. I needed it to be like this gentle thing. But the funny thing is, I went into it so looking forward to these visuals. I really wanted these visuals. And what I saw was nothing. I saw everything without seeing anything. And that's what's so beautiful. That's what makes it such a genius thing. So what happened was I started doing this other one. And it seemed like nothing was happening. And then I was sitting on the bed and he was he was actually saying, oh, I'm going to have to think of, because there's another way as well. He was going to try this other way. Because we had tried two ways, he was going to try the third way. But as he was sit stand, he was standing there, and I was on the bed, and I was looking at him, and I suddenly, I he was the Buddha, to me he was the Buddha. I was looking in his eyes, and I could tell that he knew everything, and I, I said to him, y- "You know something, don't you?" But I don't think he realised he was the Buddha, <laughs> which is a bit weird because that's what they say. We don't realise that we're the Buddha. And then what happened was, so I, I sit him down. He come over here to start doing the third way and then what I did was I lied back and all of a sudden it was going weird like spongy wobbly wibbly (laughs) yeah wibbly wobbly thing and all and I started laughing so I well I'm gonna have to try to remember that this is the thing I can't really remember the actual experience other than I know I was lying on, on the bed and I had my eyes shut and I could see everything, but I could see nothing. And and I just kept saying, there's no visuals. And I love I loved that there was no visuals because I said, give me exactly what I need. And I wanted the visuals, but I didn't need the visuals. So that's what's so genius about it. And also what was happening was the day's events, all of a sudden the day's events were being played out before they had happened. Even though they've already happened, this is what's weird. And you can't really explain it. You you were experiencing time before it happened. And you were seeing how things in the future were actually... Things in the future were creating the past. And it was like linking... It, it, it was only... It's entangled. The future and the past is entangled. I've actually... If you watch on YouTube, I've got this little sheet. Because what happened was about... Well, it must have been about... Maybe a year ago, I had this out-of-body experience in the lucid dream which I would still say is my second most powerful one and there was this bloke that was talking to me I went into this blue light and this bloke was there and he he showed me this little grid 
And what it was was, and I, I didn't make it didn't make sense at the at the time, but now it makes complete sense. So it's a grid which is like a cross, and it's got a plus plus. Well, at the time I thought it was a plus and a minus. It's actually a plus minus and a plus minus along both lines. So you've got a, you've got a cross with a plus and minus on on each on each line at the top and bottom and to the to the left and the right and in the center where the lines cross there's a circle and that is the balance point so what you've got is each each because it's basically it's the sh a sheet of paper is is put into four bits so you've got like each section of the paper is a quarter which represents positive 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 negative po and then but you've also then got negative positive and ne and negative negative. So what's and the reason it's like that is because the thing that in the middle, which is the balance point, is the point. That's the point of, of balance. Everything around it is all the possibilities of that point. But the thing is, this this sheet here it represents process. So what it is is the reason it's it's positive, positive, negative, negative, is because the cross is actually spinning in both directions. So it's it's spinning horizontally and vertically, which creates this the sphere, which is the sphere of possibilities around the point. Yeah. So what happened was, I'm gonna have to come I'll come back to this so much later on because everything else links into this little diagram, which is again what makes it so amazing. I got given this diagram in a lucid dream it made no sense but the bloke who gave it to me i knew he was a conscious and i know who it is now it's me in the new earth which is in the future it was me in the future connecting with myself to put that there so that i would get it now with all the data to understand it it's amazing and this is what's so genius it's it's everything is is perfection yeah, everything is perfection. It's all linked together. So what happened on this? I, I, I'll go back to this grid in a minute, but it just seems really important that grid. Yeah, I'm gonna. I definitely. I'm gonna put an image of it on the website on my website at sophielawson.com, <laughs> so you can see it. But that that grid represents process for everything, which is like the atoms. So everything is points. In the process and then what happens is all these points are overlapping which creates dimensions and stuff it just, it's, it's, it's beautiful but what I love is there's no visuals you don't need the visuals all you need is the numbers yeah well I'll get into this in a minute because it's it's so it's so deep but it makes so much sense but it doesn't make any sense <laughs> this is and it's ah oh, it's brilliant it is absolutely brilliant it's, it's it's all about paradoxes, but it, so I was like I was lying there on this thing, and it must have been about an hour and a half that I was on the bed with this thing going on, and I kept having the sensation that I was weeing myself, and I kept saying I'm weeing myself. I had my hat on, and what happened was this is very like it's all synchronistic. When this bloke came in and before he had his hat on, and he said he said, and he's never said anything like this before. He said, I got my hat on to hide my hair. So then, in during the, inside of the inside of this experience, I pulled my hat off, which was me letting go of my hair, of being judged by my hair. And then, in the same moment, I realised it was linked to him saying what he said at the start. Ah, oh, it's it's like everything is linked together. It's it's unbelievable. So I kept having the sensation that I was weeing myself. And I couldn't see anything, but I could see everything. And I had this impression that I was on a stage. Everything was black, but you could sort of see everything as as if it wasn't as if it was there, but it wasn't there yet. Yeah, it's as if it wasn't there yet, but it could be there. So you was almost like seeing. I suppose you was like seeing the blank canvas, but you could see that everything was already there, even though it wasn't there. It was so weird. But I just kept laughing. I kept laughing and saying, "It's this is so funny and genius. 
And it's so funny how funny it is. It's so funny how genius it is. It's, oh, it's amazing. And then what also happened was, as I was in the middle of it, I just kept, I kept, I was, I was talking to something. Something was talking through me. I was like channeling something. And what happened was, he, he started writing down everything I was saying. But not, some of it just makes no sense. Some of it is so personal, not to me, it's personal to other people. So some of it I won't actually be able to talk about in this in this little black book. So what happened was, and this is another thing, I let go of my art during this experience because he scribbled all my writings in my sketchbook, which was full of li- little realistic pencil drawings. So now my realistic pencil drawings have got text written all over them. <laughs> so, but it doesn't matter. This is the thing. No, none of that matters because this is like this is everything. The art is not important, even though it is, and it comes in. I'll come into that later. And again, it's going to sound like you're talking gibberish, but it's because you've got like a massive overload of information. So this is what he wrote. What else was there during that? Oh yeah, it was just I kept having a sensation of weeing myself, even though I wasn't. There was, oh, that, I've got to talk about that as well. There's this one bit where I was lying there. And what happened was, you couldn't see anything, but you could see a darkness. So in a weird way, you could see a darkness within the darkness. I don't know how, but you could see it over here to like, to my left. And what happened was, to my right, I could sense like the new earth. To my left, it felt to me, well, it felt like the reptilians, which was negative. And it was coming in, and what happened was it was coming into my body. I could feel it as a cold, almost like a cold liquid, as if it was sort of solidifying my body or something. And it was coming in, and I and I said, because I, I couldn't work out if I wanted to let this in or not. And there's still part of me now that was wondering what would have happened if I'd let that in. And at the same time, I was getting pulled over to this side, which was to the new earth. It felt like the new earth. It was the the light, even though there was no visuals. So I'm, I'm thinking, what do I do? So I said to this bloke, I said, what, shall I let this in? And I heard no. So I didn't. And as, as soon as that, it, it disappeared. And then I was in the centre. And what I saw was, I saw the centre of between the negative and positive is a, is a vagina. <laughs> it's weird. So it actually, it's like a cross, but it only, it's like the middle bit sli- slices down over only to the middle of the cross. So it's only the top bit, which would actually be the positive and positive, which actually even thinking about it now, it makes sense. The reason the new earth is only in the, the middle of the top bit is because that's positive and positive. But actually the new, the new earth is the center point of balance. So, I, yeah, maybe I don't understand that bit. <laughs> but all I saw was a, a vagina in the centre of positive and negative. Very strange. And then, see if I can remember anything else that happened during the experience. <laughs> yeah, it was just laughing, laughing, laughing. And I, at one point, I even got up and started dancing. And I said, look, I'm dancing. Which I thought was funny. I was crying and I had bogeys running out my nose, and I just didn't care. And I, and I said, at one point, I said, oh, I'm, I'm making a fool of myself, which is exactly what I needed, which was to let go of myself. Yeah, let go of myself by making a fool of myself in front of somebody, which is something I can't do before. So I've, I let go of myself physically. And then what's happened later, after I woke up, is I've let go of myself spiritually yeah it's a strange thing that the spiritual one was much more what was the well the first bit which was the spiritual bit was all about letting go of my hair letting go of what i of what people think of me but it requires action this is the thing i had to rip my hat off which was action i had to start dancing which was action and even later on when it get into the next bit it's all about action. It's your actions which will will align the truth. 
It's crazy. So he was writing all this stuff down. And what's so strange is I'm inside this, I'm inside of this place. And he, 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 I kept forgetting that I was here in my bedroom. And every so often I would touch the bed and I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in the bedroom. At one point I touched the wall and, and I, was, I said it's spongy because <laughs> the, the, everything was like spongy, bouncy. And then there was one point it felt as if there was no floor and you was just like sort of miles up. But you still couldn't see anything, which is so weird. And I kept, I kept repeating, this is genius. There's no visuals. And I, I loved the fact that the the thing I wanted is the I really wanted these visuals, but I didn't get the visuals because I didn't need them. That's when you know that it's like a it's an actual intelligence. Because if I was in control of it, I would have given myself it, it, the visuals overload. I also had some really nice music playing, which was a six hour loop. It was just so peaceful. You could hear little birds and stuff. I feel like that really helped as well. So this is some of the stuff that got written down. This is what the bloke wrote down. And then I also started scribbling as well. Because I, I took the sketchbook off him. So this is what he says. This is what I said. He's put, DNA is time spinning slowed down. The key to everything. Story is positive and negative. And then there's something here which I can't say. Then I said, I am God. Then I said, I pissed myself years ago. But it wasn't years ago. It was during this experience. Because it's, it's, this experience was years ago. Even though it was only about an hour or so. It was actually years ago. This is what I'm saying. It's, it's all to do with looping time. And I've put here, this is what it says. It says, spaceship spinning. It says, penis and fanny. Both the same thing. 369. Carpet like a circuit of time in DNA. DNA is the time slowed down. So some of this isn't going to make sense. But later on, when I had my second wave after I went to sleep, all of this stuff started to sync up and make sense. So it keeps saying 369 circles. Fuzzy vibrations, 369. Something else I can't say. And I only can't say it because I don't want to... Why can't I say it? Yeah, I, I, I should say it, but I can't say it <laughs> because it's about somebody else. And I I will say it when I speak to the person first, I think. I've also put here, the DNA is, it says storm. I don't know what that is. DNA is story, that's it. DNA is story, is a storyline inside of us. In other words, because what I was feeling, that's it. You were You were not seeing anything. You were feeling what you were seeing. That's what was so beautiful. That's what was so genius about it. It was that it was a visual without any visuals. And you saw the whole of your DNA inside of yourself is time. It's spinning. It's, a, it's the story. What it is, is the DNA inside of you is the story, which is all the points spinning in time. But the DNA is the time. So it's the points spinning within time which is the dna and the blood is the is what it's spinning inside of <laughs> does it's it's crazy but yeah it's this we are basically what we are is each human is a physical the human is the physical representation of the point the human is the physical representation of the point so inside of the human is all of the is like a slice of all possibilities of every single point in a state but they're all still vibrating so they're all still moving so it's like a self-contained state of all atoms i suppose which are points what you start realizing is all the, you've got all these different words but they're all actually pointing to the same thing point particle is like the atom time dna it's, it's almost like there's really only one thing, but you've got all these different words trying to explain the same thing. Because what's happening is, is it is all separate, but it's all it's all there's only one thing, there's only one process, which is like the spinning. But it's everything is doing it, but it's all it's all self-contained within the point, which is the human. 
is cool. But it all boils down to a story, which is what I also thought was so genius, which is why I've connected, I connect with stories and characters. The reason we connect with stories and characters is because we are inside of the process and the process is the story. <laughs> so that's why you connect with stories and characters, because you're connecting with yourself, because you are you are yourself the story. It's it's insane. And it's so beautiful. It's it's genius how it's all thingy. What else is here? Something here. Burn it together. Burn it together. Evolve together. Oh yeah, because this was weird as well. I start. What happened was, I and I. I don't know where. What, how? What? I don't know what, why this happened. Me and the other person. We were. I had the sense that we were entangled with each other. And all of a sudden, this experience wasn't just for me. It was actually for him as well. And the reason what happened was it's it got so personal. It got so personal, which is insane. And I think it did sort of, um, I think it did shock him a little bit because he seemed a bit speechless afterwards as if he himself had to go off and process what he was hearing. Because I was talking about hit, I was talking about hit, stuff to do with him as well. And I was saying that the reason we are entangled is because we're both, we both, we're both entangled with the same bits. This is where you can't, I can't quite talk about something without, well, it's to do with my mum. Basically, we are both entangled because of our mums, like this connection with our mums. And this is what the letting go is all about. It's crazy. So what else, what else is here? It says 369. It says um, plus, our, plus, plus our physical. It says my hair grows without doing anything, <laughs> which I love that because it's, it's almost like I was I spent so long, so long trying to. I so long trying to sort of make my hair grow long. You don't have to do anything. Your hair grows long without doing anything, which is again like letting go. Three, six, nine, triangle, circle, square. You put something else. Oh yeah, I can't, not, don't want to say that bit. <laughs> That's not. Ah, oh, this is look. Look at this look. So yeah, this is a bit weird. This bit. But this is also late. This some of this is going to sound really scary when you hear it. You would think, well, why are you not scared? The reason is because later on, when you realise what it's actually saying, you realise that this is all funny as well. So it says reptilians are free from new earth. Reptilians are free from new earth. Reptilians are just a representation of fear. So they're not real. They're an illusion. It's just a representation of fear. The new earth hasn't got any fear. Because it hasn't got any positive or negative, it's, it's balanced. So there's no reptilians in New Earth, which is what this is all about. This is what the virus that we're going through at the minute is about. It's about, the, this virus we're going through, in the physical, is about the new, it's about the new Earth. It's about getting the balance. It's about getting the balance between positive and negative to become the new Earth. It, I'll put it as well, pyramids are from the future past cycles because the, the future is the past as well so this is what the loop is because there's a ah oh, this gets a brilliant in a minute some of this is there's so much i really i feel like i could make a thousand podcasts about this and still have loads to say so what happened what did i just say oh, about the pyramids in the future yeah what it is 2012 is when it's when it's ended it's when it ended but that is also the beginning of the time loop. The time loop is nine years between 2012 and 2021, which is now. So we, this is what's happening. We are inside of the time loop, which is why the virus is now. The virus is now because it's at, it's at the end of the time loop. So what happens is there's a nine year time loop, which we're cycling through, which is the process of basically taking people. Well, it's. Visually, it would be like taking people out of into the new earth, but only the ones that are in balance. But the thing is, it's everyone is in balance. This is what's so beautiful. But because everyone isn't in balance, it has to time loop. <laughs> so, so in other words, it's this is what gets so it's you get to a point where you realise that it's it's a never ending process. That's the thing. It's a never ending process. 
Op- it says here, creative, swearing, not bad. It comes from reptilians. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Squiggles make circles. Yeah, this goes into the quarter thing as well. To th- this quarter thing, you've, you've got you've got your point. The point becomes the squiggle. The squiggle becomes the circle. The circle spinning becomes the physical. So that's how you get from the that's how you get the spirit the spiritual to the physical. It's just it's all about this is why you don't need visuals because you don't need visuals because it's all numbers. The numbers are pointing to locations of the points within within it's like a pyramid but it's it's a three-sided pyramid where you've got a point on each side of this pyramid which is like the grid so on each side of the pyramid is a grid so you've got this positive and negative thing on the side on on the pyramid which is it's a three-sided pyramid (laughs) even though what are they one I don't know what they normally are. Three, four, five. This one's a three-sided pyramid, which I don't even know if you can you can do three-sided pyramids. But it's a three-sided pyramid of this grid, so it's flat, even though it's actually a sphere, which is spinning. It's so weird. Yeah, but so the squiggles make the circle. Yeah, the, those pyramids are the representation of points the pyramids are like a representation of points in in the in the process because what happens is you've got you've got the process the the pyramid is like three processes linked together see that's why you need three numbers three six nine because each each of those numbers represents three points which is the pyramid you have to have three and i'll go into this later it's to do with you've got positive and negative and then you've got the balance point so you, that's why you have to have three because i always thought it was two i always thought it was negative and positive it's actually three so you've got you've got positive and negative which are entangled with, with each other then you've also got balance but the balance is entangled with the entangled pair of positive and negative so you've actually got like an entanglement within an entanglement. That's the loophole. That's the loophole. That, that that's why it's. That's why it's like. That's why it's so. This is why it's never ending, because it's it's entangled within itself. <laughs> it's, it's it's crazy. It is. Physical as a wave, a ship on the wave, three physical pyramids, wave our spaceship podcast. <laughs> Because I started thinking about the podcast, uh, there was a p- period as well. There was a point there where I could have died. I know I could have died. I could have gone and died. And and I kept I kept saying, well, "What about the podcast? <laughs> I got to do the pod. I got to do the podcast to get the message out." That's weird. That was weird. And then later on, when we have, when we have never when we have the next phase, I had the same thing again where I I could have died. But then I realised that even if I had died, I wouldn't die because you can't die. And that's when I start. That's when you start laughing because you realise it's just all funny. Because you sort of take it so seriously, but there's no need to because it's just all funny. It's fu- it's funny. Said so about strangling, and then this is weird because the person who I did it with started talking about later on when we started talking. They started talking about something something which is sort of linked to that somehow and then you start thinking well this is why we're entangled it's it's all to do with some sort of childhood something which is linked to the mum it's, it's cool it says here psychedelics meditation and lucid dreaming three pyramids everything seems to be three everything seems to be free so i was seeing like pyr- psychedelics meditation and lucid dreaming are like three sides of the same thing like a pyramid learning to swim was the wave learning to swim was the wave go back to the one (laughs) reptilians are are spiritual they leave where where we are on the new earth so yeah this is the thing i i was talking from the new earth 
because we're already on the new earth. It's just we're going into the time loop to bring people back to the new earth. <laughs> so we're actually already on the new earth. It's just we're here to go back there. And that's why we are entangled. We're, we're entangled with our mums. Based off of this, it's basically pulling your mum into the new earth. That's what it, it's, it's mad. Because each time you go into the time loop, you become entangled with another one, which is what you're you're trying to balance that into the new earth. But you've got this. It's, it's you've got nine years. It's a nine year time loop thing. So at the end of the nine years, it goes back. Like it's mad. But what? So what? What? What that means is the new earth. Is is everything is existing already? It's mad. We are on new, the new earth. Nine, 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 nine days, nine lives. That comes in a minute because then I started thinking about this cat that keeps jumping through the window, which is about the nine lives, which is also nine years. There's nine years between 2012 and 2021, which is the nine years. The day I did it was yesterday, which was the ninth. <laughs> and then we had the nine for the cat that jumps through the window as if the cat was like a, a message. And it's so weird because that cat has actually stopped jumping through the window now, which has allowed me to let go of the cat because I was attached to the cat. That cat was was some sort of spiritual thing. It's uh, quite amazing, that, that that little cat. And I've put, it's all story with characters. I've put pyramids within pyramids. This is, again, the, the pyramids within pyramids is a physical representation of the entanglement within the entanglement. And that's what it is, is everything is inside of itself. And that's what's so funny, because it doesn't realise it's inside of itself. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's genius. It's genius because it's hidden itself inside of itself. That's what's so genius about it. And then it's, it's amazing. We are characters. We are a character in a story, which is like the time loop. <laughs> Peed myself write all over oh yeah wrote all over sketches let go i didn't pee myself but i it felt like i peed myself so many times i don't know why I put at the top here let go of mum <laughs> three six nine pyramids you got the new earth oh yeah and i kept seeing this spaceship i saw i i saw it but i didn't see anything but i saw this spaceship you, you had the earth here you had like the earth you had this it what it was was a spaceship that it comes it doesn't stop it goes but it, what it does is it comes it leaves the new earth, it leaves the this is the earth it comes to the earth it leaves all the reptilians on the earth and it goes so it, it takes the non-reptilians with it but it doesn't actually do anything it's not like it lands and everyone gets on board it's it's just it comes and it takes them almost like what it does is it comes and takes the spirit yeah, it's almost like it's, but you, but the thing is, I could see that it, I could see what, I could see nothing, but I could see what was happening, which is weird. And I kept seeing that, this thing, and it feels like that is the end of the time loop. So that would be December 2021, which would be the end of the nine year cycle from 2012. And it's so weird because the thing is, all this stuff with me, with not like my art and stuff, I started playing Persona 4 Golden, I completed Persona 4 Golden December 2012, <laughs> which is when they said that the end, the world would end. And that's when I started getting spiritual and into my drawings. I found art because of this video game. This video game is all about spiritual stuff, but I was never into spiritual stuff. But I was, but I didn't realise I was. <laughs> which is, again, it's the same thing. It's, it's like the future. It's the future put that there. It put it in there in the future, so it feels like a synchronicity, but it's not. Because what it is, is the, t the time is in reverse. So it feels like a synchronicity, but really, time's going the other way than what we think it is. But we are travelling through it the way we are. But really, it's the other way around. So the process, the process goes in reverse. It's really weird. Now, this is something weird here. What I wrote is, this is the bit that's going to sound a little bit scary and it will sound, it might sound a bit crazy, 
but it makes sense later on. When I explain something else later on, it's going to make a lot more sense. And it's nothing to be scared of, afraid of either. I've put everyone else is a reptilian. <laughs> everyone else is a reptilian. Some of this stuff I was saying, I wasn't saying it. I, I wasn't saying it. I was saying it, but I wasn't saying it. It's like someone else was saying it. Because I was saying it, I was thinking, why am I saying that? It's mad. Wonder, New Year. Tw- so this is when it said about 2012 to 2021. December to December. This is if we go make make you add in. This is the new Earth. So I've, put, I've drawn a little Earth with a pyramid with this spaceship, which is just a... All, all the spaceship is... It's not even a spaceship, it's a, a curve, like a curve of energy, which it comes towards the Earth and it leaves. And what happened was, when it when it came down like that, I was like going, I kept saying, oh, why is it not staying? I wanted it to stay. And then it was saying, it's leaving all the reptilians behind on the Earth, <laughs> which is actually the virus. This is where it gets really crazy. It's, it's amazing how everything like links up. 369... And I just put here, it says physical something, 2021, mum, positive, negative, positive, negative. This a dream. Yeah, because it started saying this is like a dream. Because all the dream is, all the dream is, is you going into the, is you going into the grid without it actually having been solidified, solidified into a pyramid. So dreams are you are, dreams are you going in sort of, the 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 points haven't actually solidified so the physical is the points have solidified but they can still move about but they can only move about within like the the radius of the three points but in the dream the points are all all like free but this is it's exactly the same as the dream it's it's madness (laughs) 2021 it says 2021 reptilians gone and then i keep drawing these wiggles because it was like everything was a wiggle because what the wiggle is is it the wiggle is a physical representation of of the spiritual but the reason there's no visuals is because it's all it's all data because what we are really the dna is is the storage of the story characters in the story Keep saying that. Keep saying story, and I've keep drawing these like loops, loops, lots of pyramids and loops. Three six nine. Three six nine just kept coming up all the time. It was really weird. Yeah, it's all three six nine squiggles. It says believe, <laughs> believe, and I've it said here. It's got I got it's got DNA, and then you've got a circle, and the circle is solid. But really, it's a squiggle. <laughs> yeah, and that's the DNA. So the DNA is is storing the solid, but really, it's actually the squiggle. So the, the DNA is storing a solidified state of the squiggle. So it is, the DNA is storing like a... I suppose it's like a wave. The DNA stores all the waves, but really, those waves, they're not really... They're not really solid... So the DNA is just like one slice of possibilities, which is why each human is each human is like a slice of possibilities. <laughs> it's cool, but the thing is, the, later on, it, it starts getting into how God, the universe, whatever you want to call that, the base God is is all of the people. So what's funny about that is this is when it is so funny. It is so funny because it's everything is separate, but it's not. But it is. But it's only it's only separate, so you can realise that it's not separate. So what it does is it starts creating all these paradoxes. It creates a paradox just so that it can prove that it's not a paradox. But it needs to become a paradox to prove... See, you can't say it with words. <laughs> That's the thing. You can't really say it with words. It's all to do with paradoxes. This ne- the next phase of this, I'm going to have to do a separate podcast, I think. But the next podcast is going to be all about paradoxes and and basically the relationship between God and like the people. 
which is just the process because everything is just the process because there really is no god and the people it's just one point it's one point really all there is is one point but that point is entangled with itself so because it's entangled with itself it ends up creating everything else but really it's not there <laughs> because it's actually inside of itself it's it's mental so the point is god which which is process so because of the process that is the in, the process is the entanglement of the god with all the things but all the things are just the process of god so it, it's like this is when you realize it's a never ending loop because it, yeah because it's, it's inside of itself it's like a never ending loop i put three six nine pens and pencils oh this was funny because what he did was he's writing with a pencil but because he was writing with a pencil one of my clicky one of my what do you call them mechanical pencils it kept breaking and i uh, i was i was talking to him and i was saying it breaks and it was breaking before it was breaking and then what happened was i would say something and i would say i what happened was i said something and then I said, but you don't believe that. And then I said something and he said, well, how did you know I said that? <laughs> and I said, I know because you're me. Because And then what was happening was, this is the weird bit. What was happening was I, I was sat on my bed and I kept sort of flipping between being me and this other person who was sitting on my chair. And I was sort of both at the same time. So, it, But you was experiencing that after you had experienced the thoughts it's almost like you were you were f- feeling his thoughts in the future as a sort of a feeling but before it was just the words so you were you were sort of hearing his thoughts before you were saying them even though you were actually hearing them after he had said them it doesn't make sense but i i know what it is that's the thing it's quite hard to I've put here, funny is God. So funny is the little cat that jumps in the window. <laughs> so she is cat, she is God. You and me, both linked, we're both the same thing. 2012, 21, 21. <laughs> I like that, 2021. I also put, everyone is reptilians. And I circled it and it seems really important that. But then I thought to myself, that would just be like my, I've always thought about probability based beings. It's, it's mad so yeah there would only be one conscious being within each process yeah there would only be one consciousness inside of each process which is a, which is the human but the human is inside of itself the experience very weird i was also getting these very strange fuzzy feelings through my body as well and uh, oh, this was brilliant. What was happening was all the loads of feelings. They were mimicking what I felt in lucid dreaming, meditations. And what was the other thing? Something else. It even said about my art. It said about how my art is a form of focusing the mind, which is the same as meditation and lucid dreaming so it was all about focusing the mind and what happened was the reason my dmt experience went on for so long was because because i had focused my mind with the meditation and stuff i actually slowed down the experience of dmt that's what it was saying it actually it was it actually slowed down the experience of dmt so that i could write it down and I, again i kept drawing this grid of positive positive negative negative and it, this was when I realised that what it represents is the positive and negative is it's positive and negative of spiritual, positive and negative of physical. The, sp- the spiritual and physical are linked together. So you've got what you've got is you've got you've got the potential for a positive spiritual and a positive neg- and a positive physical, but you could have a positive spiritual with a negative physical. So it's not as simple as it's not as simple as just a it's not as simple as just you've got the spirit realm and the physical realm the the physical and spiritual realms are linked but they're linked four ways so it's not just a two-way connection thing 
And the thing is, this whole thing is spinning, <laughs> which that's what it's the spinning which it's it's the spinning which creates the solid. So it's it's the spinning which actually creates like the paradoxes because that's, that's what puts things into existence which aren't really in existence. The, the spinning, but you need the spinning. It, what it said later, it said later, you need the spinning to prove to the things inside because you have to be inside of the process. <laughs> yeah, you have to be inside of the process because all there is is process. So you're, you are only ever inside of the process, which means you have to be inside of the physical because the process creates the physical. But the thing is, the, the, the physical isn't really real. It's actually really spiritual. So, ah, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, you're, you, you've got what you've got there is you've got nothing and everything like existing together. But it, it has to exist inside of the process which is the point particle, which is also like the God, which is what you are as well. 2021, 369, and then the pyramids are to do with the nine and the wiggles, wiggles and circles. And then it started saying about everyone's in a VR. Yeah, this, it got really a bit weird here. It started saying about the new earth. What's happened is the new earth, we actually created the VR on the new earth we create the VR on the new Earth. The VR is actually the virtual reality, the the, the hologram. It, the hologram is actually the time loop of those nine years, which is it's a VR system designed to get people from the Earth into the new Earth. <laughs> so it's mad. But what happened is you you've also got a VR within a VR. It started saying about you've got a VR within a VR. So you've actually got a VR, the reptilians created a VR of the new earth. So then what you end up with is you end up with, because the, the new earth had already created a VR, the reptilians create a new a VR of the new earth. So that VR of the new earth also has VRs inside of it. So then you've got a VR within a VR, <laughs> which links in with this entanglement. It's, it's, it's linked in with that entanglement within the entanglement. So that's what that's what it is. Is is everything is inside of itself. So balance is 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 there being no opposites. But there has to be opposites for there to be no opposite. So this is when you realise it, it's it's a never ending process. Because <laughs> even when you get balance, you still have to have not balance to have the balance. So there can never not be anything. And that's when you start laughing because it's. You realise it's all funny. <laughs> VR within a VR. And then I've drawn like a, a looping, almost like a spiral within a, on top of another spiral. So you, what you end up with then is you you end up with all these little spirals inside of the bigger spiral. It's Again, it's like a visual representation of the data. That's all the wiggles are. All the wiggles are is a re visual representation of the data. Let's put story, VR, reptilian story. Yeah, so there's a reptilian story of the new earth. So there's actually, yeah, it starts to get so multi-layered, all these dimensions. Yeah, and then because I was saying, well, how do you know which one you're inside of? And then you realise it doesn't matter anyway, because there is only one. <laughs> so even if you're inside of the reptilian's VR, yeah, even if you're inside of the reptilian's VR, it doesn't matter because you're actually really, you are still only really, you are already the balance. So it's it's all fun and games. That's what it seems like. <laughs> You've got the spaceship again, 369, wiggles, pyramids. I keep drawing this grid of positive and negative. It's a, and then I've got, I've got, I've drawn like a little, yeah, I, you've got like a circle within a circle spinning. And then I'll put here, New Earth Hijack. Reptilians created a VR of New Earth. I've put Talking to God. Two entangled souls in one VR. So that's what the reptilians did. What the reptilians did was they took... They took two people from the, the New Earth. Put them into the VR. So 
but they're, they're already inside of the PR, which is a bit weird. So you've now got two entangled souls inside of the VR. So in order for one of those souls to get out of the VR, the other one has to as well. But then what's funny about that, and this is where it, it just, you start realising how funny it is, if one gets out, the other one gets out, because they're entangled. <laughs> so it's, it's so it's so genius how all of this is happening. Because no matter what's happening, and this is where it becomes like a loophole, you've got like a loophole so there's a there's some sort of loophole which is the entanglement within the entanglement it means that no matter what happens it's always the same it actually can't be changed the the balance can't be changed and then so you start thinking well what's the point in everything if it's all process but you need the process for the balance <laughs> so it's it's so weird you realize that it doesn't matter nothing really matters but everything actually matters because every, everything has to exist for there to be balance, even though nothing really exists. Dreams like a dream. What's this say? Synchronicities. Yeah, there's synchronicities because there's only two. So inside of that VR, you get synchronicities because there's only two conscious souls who are entangled. So the synchronicities that are happening is only it's only between those two souls. But... I feel like it's then, and this is me talking now, trying to make it sense of it. Feels like it's it's all entangled within itself. So that's how you end up with multiple synchronicities. Even it's it's a synchronicity between two entangled souls, but there's there's more than there's more than just that one pair of entangled souls. So there's that's how you get loads of synchronicities. Now it will. Oh yeah, this was funny. There was a point where I said, I said to this other bloke, I said, "You got to focus." And then there's a point where I started to lose my focus, and I said, "The physical is a distraction." And I realised that I was losing my focus, and I realised that I was actually talking to myself by talking to him, because I also had to get my focus. And then what it said was, it because what it said when it finished, it said, "Now it will try to trick you." <laughs> yeah. In other words, what what it will do is. Is it's now going to try to trick you to make you think that what you've found out isn't real. But then what I got later on in this big massive download, yeah, there's no way that that is going to be tricked now. There's no way. I feel, I feel like this is going to be a ten-hour podcast. <laughs> That's quite funny. It says here, millions of years is time. I'll put thank you. Reptilians equal death, which is like the virus. This goes into something later on as well. One of these entities who kept coming into my lucid dreams, she even had a name called Sula. All of a sudden, this makes sense. She's linked to the virus and death, which is linked to the reptilians. Again, it's like a, it's like a negative pyramid thing. Reptilians, death and the virus. That That's like... You've got like these negative triangles as well. But everything seems to have to be in freeze. Everything seems to have to be in freeze. And you end up with you end up with one thing entangled to two things that are entangled. So that would almost be like the reptilians are entangled with virus and death. Because virus equals death. So so those two are entangled. And this is what's so funny about it. It it means it's because, that's what's funny. You think that it's you think that it's the two you think that those two things are separate, but really they're the same thing. So in a strange way, actually, there is only really one entanglement. <laughs> but it has to be you have to have the two entanglements to get the one. It's crazy. It is. It's so cool though. And then it says the future equals a segment. Yeah. So the future is like a segment of time. Plus negative, negative, positive, physical, spiritual. And then that spaceship comes again. I kept writing no visuals. I put DM DNA is time. <coughs> I've got the burps now. That was funny as well. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, yeah, it said I was going to be sick on the podcast. 
and that was going to be one of the things of me making a fool of myself which I, I was going to keep in because I didn't care that I was going to be sick because that was going to prove how real this is <laughs> that I was not not afraid to keep the sick on the podcast but what happened was I was in this meditation I was seeing the process of being sick as if it was slowed down to millions of years and you could you could like feel your body going through the process of being sick but again you couldn't see anything but you could see everything so weird so it was like time was slowed down and you could see you could see the process of of being sick as a like a timeline thing dna is time story so the dna is the story each person is a story we characters within a story <laughs> so each person is a story but each person is also the character within a story so again you've got these stories within a story so it's just it's it's a never ending process yeah it's a never ending process <laughs> which is amazing yeah what I put later on was I said about how it's sad but funny at the same time. It was like you were... It's amazing. This The second part of this, which will probably have to be next week's podcast now, or maybe I'll put this out tomorrow. Maybe I'll put part four out later in the week or something. But it, that will go... This, the next bit gets so deep and it just makes so much sense of this grid system. Because you start to realise how everything is actually two sides is the same thing like emotions and everything I put the word loop again I even drew a square loop which I've never done that before I've always had circular loops but I've actually drawn a square loop I put feel no visuals but saw everything again there's this line going backwards so there's a line going backwards which is going to the left but there's a, a a second line which comes up off of that. It goes forwards, and then it comes back down. So that's like this. That's like the cycle. So you've got a timeline running backwards, which is the true timeline. Well, not the true timeline. That's the 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 timeline going backwards is the base timeline. The time loop. What it does is it comes off of it, and it plays the, it plays time forwards like we get it. So it so it plays it forward like we get it and then it goes back into the time it goes back into the original time which is actually going in reverse so it's again you feel, you find out how funny it is because what it means is it it's time we time is actually going in the opposite direction which makes sense of everything that's why that's why everything is the way it is because it was it was actually created in reverse it's amazing but the process is going in the opposite way so that you get to experience it <laughs> so you're you're getting to experience it after you've already created it not realizing that you've created it which is that's what's so funny you just keep realizing how funny it is and then i'll put a circle with a loop with the word yes in the middle i said it's all fun i said this bloke is a buddha so the bloke i was with I, he was a buddha and it was funny because I said that before, I said that just as I was starting to get the feelings in the meditation, in the, yeah, see, I even called it a meditation. It was such a, like a, like a, it was a this psychedelic experience was exactly the same as a meditation. You can't tell the difference, which almost makes me feel like, I, I feel like now I don't have to ever do psychedelics again. I would never say never, because you never know, but it feels like everything there is in the meditation it was amazing and then I, I, so I also put God because I, I started saying I am God but then because I am you you are God <laughs> so we're all God plus a negative circular with the squiggle oh, and then I put here this was a trip <laughs> this was definitely a trip and then I said time is DNA that was the last thing I wrote time is DNA inside of the river of blood so the blood is like what contains the time thing. There's oh, there's so much I've got to write about here. I've got to talk about. I've got loads to talk about. It's going to be...
be for ages. I think I'm going to have to leave it there. I think I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going to carry on recording the next bit. And then I'll, I'll put it out either later in the week or next week or something. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to pay for more space on my podcast thing. Because what you do is when you're doing a podcast, you have to pay for like server space to host the podcast and I've always had to limit the size of these things so that I because you've got a certain limit and it's normally I can get about three to four hours out of a month so I have to sort of try to change the size of these podcasts so that they fit within that and I thought to myself as in the middle of this it was actually in the middle of the next bit that comes up it, it said it's so important to say this on the podcast that I said I'm going to increase the space that I get so I can I can just basically get it get it all out, which is amazing. <laughs> and I, I need a drink. I really do need a drink. The thing is, I haven't actually eaten. What have I had? I've had one little piece of. I've had a, a meal. I had a meal about what was it midnight? Yeah, I had a meal about five to six hours after I did the experience, and that's all I've had. So I am quite hungry and thirsty. <laughs> little Dennis and Kitty. Oh, I love it. I really do love this. I, I, what I love is, well, there's nothing to fear. That is the thing. That is the absolute beautiful thing about it. Yeah, that's what's so amazing. Yeah, I know. I love that. There's, n- there's nothing to fear. There is nothing to fear. That is what it is. Yeah, that's what's so funny. What's so funny is we are afraid of the fear So we are creating the fear by being afraid of it. So really, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's like the fear itself is an illusion that we have created by being afraid of it. (laughs) How weird is it? So that means there's nothing to be afraid of. So this is why it's so beautiful. It's like you're already balanced. That's what I'm saying. You don't have... You're already balanced because there's nothing to be afraid of. It's, It's being a human... This is it. It's being a human that it creates the fear. Which puts things out of balance. But really, you're not the person. So you're not really out of balance. This is where it it feels like a stage. It feels like a play. Even the next bit that comes up is so much deeper than this this part. And what happens is, I, I even started seeing all these like monsters on a stage with me. And what was happening was we were like, we were we were bowing. So we had, you had all these like super positive beings, all these scary creatures. We were all bowing in front of like an audience who didn't exist, <laughs> which is quite funny. We were all bowing because we 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 realised that it was all just like a game. It was all just a game. So even the fear, the scary creatures were, it was like they were wearing an outfit just to scare us. <laughs> yeah. But it's actually you scaring yourself. That's what's so funny. Doing, oh, oh, that was that was uh, it was brilliant. And uh, the thing is, it, it sounds like you're talking gibberish, but you're only talking gibberish because you've you've kind of got all the information and you're trying to get it into words. And I'll talk about this in a minute. I'll talk about this on the next podcast. You're when you start using words, it's words that create paradoxes. Yeah, it's the words that create paradoxes. So before you say the words, it's not a paradox. As soon as you say the words, it becomes a paradox. And it's that paradox which stops it from being real, even though it is real. So, see, it's it's what stops it's what stops everyone from realizing it's again it's another loophole. <laughs> it's another loophole. It's, it's you have to experience it to understand it and when you start trying to write words about it you just you can't you can't understand it with words yeah so it's actually created this paradox system as a way of self it's like it's created this paradox thing so that it's actually safeguarded itself from being found out that's why you have to experience it ah oh, it's it's amazing it's absolutely amazing. It really is amazing, I think. I think that's the, the way to end it. It's amazing. This week's little inspirational quote, I'm going to use one of mine, which is also one of yours, because we're all the same. Time is DNA. 
I like that. I feel like there's some powerful thing in that. Time is DNA. This week's little inspirational quote. I really hope you enjoyed that. And, well, stick around for the next one, because if you thought this one was crazy, <laughs> the next one, you're going to have to put your seatbelts on, because it's going to be even more bonkers, I think. <laughs> so, basically, I'll see you next next time for that one. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll put, well, I don't know if there's any links or something, but I'll put links in the show notes at sophielawson.com. <laughs> and I'll also put, like, images and stuff inside of the video. Well... I'll just put the grid thing in in the video. Really, that grid is more important for the next episode. Because the next episode, really, what the next episode is going to do is it's going to completely take apart the process of of balance with positive and negative. And it's all to do with that grid. It's all to do with this grid, which is the cross, which is the human is the cross. Yeah, the human is the cross which is a physical representation of positive and negative, positive and negative, spiritual and physical. So the human is a physical representation of the cross with the balance in the middle. (laughs) So that's what it is, is is we are inside of ourselves. The the balance is inside of ourselves as the cross. It's crazy, it is. It's so cool. (laughs) Well, I'll see you next time for that one. I really hope you enjoyed that. Oh, you got a little kiss.